right. Desmond Dean again. Look carefully at the next short clip of an electric motor. See if you can explain in as much detail as possible why it spins. Remember all those key words. Okay. Raw. Raw. Let's have a look at this together. See if we can break it down a bit. In oh, this yeah. setup, a current flows through a wire which produces a magnetic field. This field interacts with the magnet's own field. Wow! This puts a force on the wire and it moves it outwards. Good. But, if we make the current flow the other way, by swapping the leads around, then the wire will be forced inwards. Okay, I'll switch on for us. Beautiful. Oh! With the electric motor, there is a coil of wire instead of a single wire. This makes a stronger magnetic field when the current flows. You can see that this coil is in another magnetic field. Let's have a look at the left side of the coil. When the current flows, the magnetic fields interact. And this part of the coil is forced downwards. Oh yeah! However, on the right side of the coil, the current will be flowing in the opposite direction. So it will be forced upwards. As there is an axis through the middle, this causes a spinning motion. That's how the motor works. Good, eh? It's one of them in your hair dryer. In your washing machine. Lots of other things, but I can't think of them right now.